A few years ago I made a YouTube video where I demonstrated the use of a near field probe. In my case it was just a little suction cup with an inductor coil on it here, something that's been on the market for years. These were often used to listen to telephone conversations. You could take the suction cup, put it on the back end of a uh, telephone hearing device, and uh, you could pick up the electromagnetic waves, and of course on the other end of this thing you'd have a little plug that would go into an audio amplifier. Well, I've often used them to listen to circuit boards just to hear the different electromagnetic fluctuations when, when the power was turned on. And because this thing was quite bulky, what I made a long time ago was a much smaller one. I took a regular uh, big pen and I uh, took an inductor that I probably got off a main board or uh, perhaps a Tcon board um, and I unsoldered it from the board and I put it on the end of a pen and I find it very useful when I'm when I'm troubleshooting. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and turn the. Uh, oh, it's on. Okay. I've got right now. I've got this TV. It's in the standby mode, so you can actually hear the oscillations, lower frequency oscillations, than when the power is on. So listen to this. If I put it on here, and I turn the power on, when the power is in the off position, you hear a much higher frequency. And in fact, some of these frequencies are too high. To, to be able to hear them with an audio device. So I was thinking, well, what would be another way that you could actually listen to some of these oscillations? One way, of course, would be an oscilloscope. But how about a plain old voltmeter? Well, I was thinking, well, how would you get it to operate a voltmeter? And I realized all you'd have to do is take a diode, uh, take your little inductor coil, put it in series with a diode. In this case, they use a 1N914, which is a very low loss, uh, small signal switching diode. You could probably use a variety of other diodes and work just as well. But I put it in series, and so basically it's taking the uh, the magnetic fluctuations, picking them up here, rectifying them, turning them to DC, so you can actually see it on your voltmeter. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, got one rigged up here. This is one. Um, okay, right now, if you look at the voltmeter, Let's see, I don't know if the TV's in the on position now, or I guess I've still got it in the on position. You're picking up, on the meter it says about one volt. Now you notice when I turn this thing off, there we go, it drops down. So it's just a handy little inductive probe. These things have been on the market for years, it's not my invention. But uh, some of them are ridiculously expensive and they're so easy to make. In fact, you could probably just wind a coil and get a very similar effect. I just thought it'd be a good idea to use something that had a little ferrite core on it. And uh, if you've got a junk pile of circuit boards, you'll probably find a few in there you can use. So just thought I'd share that. I realize that not everybody has one of these audio devices they can listen with, or, or even an oscilloscope for that matter. So if you don't, you'd like to make a little inductive probe. It's a fun project. You'd probably knock it out in about an hour's time. And uh, that's about all there is to it. I hope you all enjoy the videos, and if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.